right, so gonna get started today. Um, again, if you haven't already introduced yourself in chat, please go ahead and do so. Uh, I'm Kara. My name is my name is Kara. I'm the director of client services for Nextiny. I'm covering the CMS office hours today to take a little bit more of a closer look on the data and analytics side. So if you have some technical questions around how to practically use CMS Hub, happy to answer those as well. But wanted to introduce something called custom analytics to you guys if you have not gotten into those already. This is a monthly um, engagement here. So if you guys wanna come on a monthly basis and get to learn more about the CMS, we're happy to have you. It's also something that is linked to a community page. So anytime you have any questions, you can throw those there as well. So again, we're gonna be covering custom analytics views inside of HubSpot. So that is what we're gonna dive into now. And of course, if you have questions along the way, feel free to throw those into the chat pane and we will get to those along the way with members of my team. And then I will answer some of those questions at the end as well. Alrighty, so first thing about custom analytics views, this, this allows you for users that are either hosting their website outside of the HubSpot platform or for those who are tracking multiple sites in HubSpot and just wanna be able to differentiate between traffic by source for different aspects of your site or different sites entirely. This allows you to customize things a little bit more uh, in depth than the traditional analytics tools inside of HubSpot allow you to do. So to get started, um, if especially if the site is hosted outside of HubSpot, you're going to have to install that HubSpot tracking code. So this is for brand new users of the HubSpot platform that may have not gotten this started and are just getting things set up. This is going to be your first step here. This is what's going to allow you to get that um, installed on the site and ready to build some of these um, custom analytics views. After that, you're going to navigate to your, um, either you can follow these instructions here and, and navigate to tra tracking and analytics, tracking code, and then click on analytics views. You can alternatively do this by going to um, reports, and then traffic analytics and um, manage those views up at the top. And I can I can pop that open for you guys at the end if you have any questions around that. And that's going to allow you to create those custom views. So these are the different breakdowns of the types of custom analytics views you can create. You can see that there's there's lots of flexibility here. The one that I'm referring to um, the most at this point is related to the brand domain. So that's where if you're using CMS Hub Enterprise and you're tracking multiple domains inside of the system, you want to get these set up so you can understand not only that overall view of traffic by source to all of your site pages, but also for those different domains, because it may be that those brands are interconnected and you want to understand that um, for all of the brands, or it may be more appropriate for you to see that uh, brand by brand. So getting that set up distinctly for each of those brands is something that is going to be helpful for you to understand. Um, there may be other cases. Again, this is going to be more specific for those users that are hosting their site outside of HubSpot that you're wanting to see that traffic by source breakdown for a particular page that's hosted outside of the HubSpot CMS. And so that's when you're going to want to use one of these either URL path starts or contains values to be able to track those specific pages. Inside HubSpot, without doing that, you can track just general page views. So understanding sessions day by day or week over week, but you won't be able to get that drilled down traffic information without setting up these filters. Some things to consider here, um, just so you guys kind of understand what to expect. The sooner you set these up, the better, because although you'll have the overall traffic information retroactively from the moment you um, set up that tracking code and moving forward. If you choose to set up some of these custom analytics views after your portal is already set up, you will only have this data from the moment you set that up. So let's say your contact us page is hosted outside of HubSpot. You've had your tracking code installed for two weeks. You've got general page views related to that page for now, but the moment you, you create that custom analytics view is the moment that you will then start having that traffic by source breakdown in HubSpot. It won't go um, retroactively. It only starts the day that you create that view for yourself. So just something to keep in mind. Um, and again, like 
don't feel like you have to, if your site's hosted on, outside of HubSpot, particularly if it's a large site, but there are pages on the site that you're wanting to get more of this breakdown and understand traffic by page, by source. Don't feel like you have to do absolutely every page. I would use some, um, some of the data you do have in HubSpot, maybe around your page views, whether it's your top viewed pages for a particular month or a year, and understand if you'd like more of a deep dive into those pages, not only to see, okay, there were 200 sessions a month, but there were 150 from organic and 50 from paid, right? Like if you're wanting to get that granular, use some of the data that you do have today to help you decide what other pages you may want to track into the future. All right. So that was our overview there. I'm going to take some questions now if you guys have any related to getting started with these custom analytics views or if there's just anything else, generally speaking, that you guys are curious about when it relates to HubSpot CMS. And I see in the chat where that Lee is asking about sharing the slides. We will do a follow-up to this and the slides will be shared. That's a really good question, Austin. You're asking if this is something that we should use in combination with Google Analytics or if it would replace it. It's, a, it's not gonna be a full replacement for the information you can get inside of Google Analytics, but I think it's granular enough that if you're just relying on Google Analytics at this point for more of that traffic by source per page or session length, bounce rate, exit rate, the HubSpot reporting has gotten to a place where if you are primarily using Google Analytics just for that data set, then setting these up in HubSpot would certainly be a replacement. Now there's other um, more granular aspects that you may still want inside of Google Analytics, but I would love to know maybe what some of those are to see if I can help you leverage that either through these custom analytics views or maybe even just some of the other reporting functions inside of HubSpot. Alrighty, well, thank you guys so much for attending today's session. I hope this was helpful information and we look forward to seeing you at ne next month's office hours.